Okay, hey guys, Kirp here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a three-dimensional image out of only one image using Photoshop. So, in this video I'm going to be using a picture of a sports car, an Audi sports car. So let's go ahead and bring this into Photoshop. So, the first few steps are going to be very similar to the last ones. We're going to duplicate this layer, making the two layers that we have in the last one. And on the top layer, we're going to, make, we're going to uncheck the red box creating that red and blue style. You can't see it because both of the images are alike. And then on the bottom one, the one that we're going to move, we're going to unlock that layer. And now we're going to have to, um, instead of instead of having them already, um, instead of having two separate images, we're going to have to create the area that we want to pop out by outlining it. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back after I outline it. Okay, I'm back. Um, it doesn't. You don't need to spend too much time um, outlining the car or whatever you, image you're um, going to be using, because um, yeah, it's it, you don't have to go into that much detail with it. So now you're going to press the um, the move tool or V is the shortcut for it, and basically you're either going to pop it out or push it back in. So you're going to use um, you're going to use the arrow keys and right is going to be out towards you and left is going to be in. So let's move it towards us. There we go. Now let's take a look. Okay so now we have it popped out towards us. That's pretty much all you need to do. It's really easy to make a photo popping out towards you using Photoshop. So now I mean you can do whatever cropping stuff you want with this it's pretty basic. So basically, if you want to pop it out, you go to the right. And if you want to put it back in, then you go to the left. So we can do the same thing with, um, if we had, like, multiple objects in the photo. I did, um, I did one right here. It's a leaf. And basically what I did is I just trimmed over here along there, and then I just stopped it, like, right over here. So that basically makes, gives you the impression that it's popping out at you. Um, I also did another one. My sister is in love with Doctor Who, so I did one right here. Basically, I put the planet popping back in, or like going away from you, and then the letters, or the logo, and the doctor is coming towards you. So, I mean, it's going to be very useful if you want to make a three dimensional logo or animation or something. Anything that you can do with Photoshop. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.